My name is Alistair Rutledge. I'm a uh, professor of applied mathematics at the University of Leeds. I mainly work on nonlinear differential equations. And in this podcast, I'd like to talk about second order linear inhomogeneous equations. Uh, and this uh, is intended to follow on from a podcast on second order linear homogeneous differential equations. So let's take uh, as an example uh, to talk about the differential equation ay prime plus b, ay double prime plus by prime plus cy is some function h of x. And if you remember, y prime is just shorthand for dy by dx, and y double prime is shorthand for the second derivative of y with respect to x. Now, this is a second order equation. It's got y double prime. It's linear. There are no uh, products of y with itself, y squared, or y times y prime, or anything like that. And this equation is inhomogeneous. This h of x is not equal to 0. And that means that y equals 0 is not a solution of this equation. That's the characteristic of an inhomogeneous equation. Now, uh, how we solve this problem is it goes in two steps. The first step is to uh, remove h of x and solve the homogeneous problem. So first stage, we solve homo the homogeneous problem. Uh, which is uh, that a y double prime plus b y prime plus c y is equal to zero, and that is the problem we uh, have just talked about uh, at some length in another podcast. So uh, we solve that problem by uh, trying uh, y is e to the lambda x, uh, and that gives you your your characteristic equation lambda uh, a lambda squared plus b lambda plus c equals 0. Uh, we remember that there are three possibilities. Either this equation has two real distinct roots, or it has a single real repeated root, or it has real uh, complex, sorry, it has two complex roots. And there are, so there are three uh, different uh, solutions that we can write down. So uh, in the case where b squared minus 4ac is positive, we get uh, y is c1 e to the lambda 1 x plus c2 e to the lambda 2 x. Uh, in the case where b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0, so this case has two real roots that are distinct. Those are lambda 1 and lambda 2. Uh, in this case has y is uh, c2 x plus c1 e to the lambda x, where lambda is the, the one real root that you get in the case where b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0. And the third case is b squared minus 4ac is negative, in which case you get y is uh, e to the px uh, times, uh, say, c1 cosine qx plus c2 sine qx, where the roots are lambda is p plus or minus iq.